Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to bring you the first of a series of home training videos. Um, this is going to be the U10 Plus video. The reason why it's U10 Plus, originally we had a cap on it at U14. But when we were designing the video, I personally done it myself and found it to be super productive for me uh, and loads of value in doing the workouts. It was really intense. So I think no matter where or what stage you guys are at on your footballing journey, we believe this workout will be um, productive for you. Um, so this is going to be a workout that you can do at home, in your garden. Any, it doesn't matter where you are. You don't need that much equipment. You just need a couple of markers um, and a 5x5 five five space and you're ready to roll. I hope that this workout helps. Let's get to it. Okay, so today's workout is going to consist of five rounds. In each round is going to last for one minute and inside of each round there's going to be a speed, agility and quickness exercise combined with a ball mastery and ball manipulation exercise. So how it's going to look, it's going to be 15 seconds SAQ exercise, 10 second rest, 15 seconds ball mastery exercise, 10 second rest, back to the SAQ, another 10 seconds, back to the ball mastery and then that will be round one done. From there, you're gonna go into round two, which is gonna be the exact same format and same layout, and we've got five rounds. So that means 10 exercises for you guys to get through, um, and it's gonna be a combination of SAQ and ball mastery. Okay, we're starting off for round one with an explosive double knee drive. Here, we're trying to get from one side of the ball to the other side as quick as possible with both feet, driving the knees in the air, and also trying to increase the speed as we go. Okay, our first ball mastery exercise for round one is our roll stops. Here we're rolling it with one leg, stopping it with the other leg. The challenge is when you stop it, how fast can you go into your next roll to get back on the other side. SAQ exercise for round two, we're going into the single to double leg drive. Here we're starting on one side and we're letting a single leg go over first, then it returns, then the full body goes over. The temptation here is to go over right away, but we've got to train some discipline and some patience to stay on one side, let the inside leg go, and then the full body follows. Our ball mastery exercise for round two, we're going into the V-turn. Here I'm trying to draw the shape of a V with the ball, using the same leg to pull it and push it, changing foot after every rep. Our SAQ for round three, we've got two types of explosive jumps. Here, I'm looking for distance, so I've got both feet either side of the marker, and I'm looking to cover as much ground as possible. And in the same round, I'm putting my marker closer to the cone, feet either side, and I'm jumping for height. Okay, our ball mastery exercise for round three, we're going into the alternate V turn. Here, we're trying to draw the shape of the V with the ball, using one leg to pull it, the other leg to push it. You should be pulling the ball with the outside leg, pushing the ball with the inside leg. Okay, our SAQ exercise for round four, we're going into an explosive knee drive with an isolated hold. I'm trying to be super aggressive over the balls to generate some speed and absorb all that speed on a single leg every time I return to the start. In the same round, when you revisit this exercise, make sure you work on the opposite side. Our ball mastery exercise for round four, we're going into the V-turn combo. Quite a challenging exercise this one as we're combining the first V that we practiced with the second V that we practiced. Here I'm working my right side, I'm going into the V-turn and with a smooth and immediate transition straight into the alternate V-turn. And our last SAQ exercise for this workout is the L-shaped runs. Here we're closing down the markers either side of the L, working on acceleration and deceleration, and then staying low and working on defensive movements until we get back to the start point, changing directions every time. 
And our last exercise of the workout is the scissor push combo. Here I'm doing a scissor with one leg and pushing and pulling with the opposite leg, changing direction every rep. Okay, so there's all 10 exercises for this workout. I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna do all 10 exercises with you for one full circuit. Um, and then I expect you guys to see if you can get through that circuit two or even three times. Um, before we start, make sure number one, you've got your own warm up in, so I'm already warm. Make sure you've got your own warm in because we're not gonna take our time getting into the workout. It's literally gonna start 100 miles an hour as quick as we can, so make sure you're warm. Uh, number two, as you're watching, don't worry about being a perfectionist and worrying about you know what's Tom doing and doing it exactly like me. Try and follow as much as you can, um, but the point is to get your workout in, so don't be stopping or um, any excuses, even if you make a mistake, get right onto your ball or, or your uh, SAQ and just keep it rolling for me. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do the full circuit with you. Let's get ready to roll. Okay, so we're gonna start with both legs over the ball in SAQ. Two, one, let's go. So we're starting quick right away. Arm rest. Okay, we're into our roll stops. Six seconds. Again, don't be building into it. We need you to go right away. We're not here forever. And let's play roll stop. Even if you make a little mistake, get right on it straight away. Nice and sharp. Challenge yourself with your eyes up. And rest. Seven seconds. Straight back into our SAQ. Both legs over. Let's play. Don't be sloppy with your arms. Nice and explosive movement. And rest. Into our roll stops. Last exercise of round one. And let's go. Try not to get tall as you get a bit tired. Stay nice and low. And relax. Okay. That's round one done. Shake your legs out. A mouthful of water if you want. We've got 30 seconds before round two. We're going single leg drives combined with double legs or both legs. Okay, 10 more seconds left. Challenge yourself by adding speed to it. Um, lifting your eyes up, incorporating your arms. Okay, three, two, one. Let's play. Single leg drive combined with both legs. So this one, we need some patience, some discipline, stay on one side, then get over. Stay on one side, then get over. Let the single leg go, arm rest, and then you follow. Okay, V team number one. You would have seen it on the, the video earlier. We're working same leg to pull and push. Again, trying to exaggerate it by using my arms and rest. Eight seconds. This one, be patient with your body. Stay on one side, single leg, then get over quick. Let's go. Always training your awareness. Not getting sloppy with your arms. And rest. Okay, last round, last exercise. Round two. Good work, keep it up for me, stay with me, stay with the pace for me. Here we go. Really try and draw that V in the grass if you can. And rest. 
Okay. Round two done. Shake your legs out. Heart rate should be up here. If you're not breathing heavy here, then you might need to step it up a gear. We're going into round three. We're going uh, jumping for distance first. So this one, I'm gonna get a marker again. Could be socks, trainees, whatever you've got. It's gonna go about one yard apart from the ball and you're jumping for distance here. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go, feet next to the cone. Absorb the landing, work quick feet back. Arm rest. Didn't hear that. Okay, we got VT number two. And let's go. So we're alternating legs here. We're working right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Time. Lovely. Marker back in. This time we're jumping for height. Marker goes a bit closer. See how high off the ground you can get. Absorb that landing if you can. And rest. Last one of the ball mastery for round three. Beat turn number two. Let's go. Alternating your legs. And time. 30 second rest, good work, keep your finger on the pulse, 30 seconds, round three done, we're nearly there, nearly completed the full circuit, we're into round four, we've got knee drives, I'm going to get me a couple of markers, I'm going to use two footballs, knee drives with an isolated hold, And that's going to be with the V turn combo. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Really try and build up that momentum and that speed. And then can you stick right into it on one end? And rest. Okay. Got the VT and combo, combining both of them. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna wave my right side to start with. Time, good. Seven seconds, get on the other side. So I'm gonna be holding that isolated position with me right leg this time, let's go. Arm rest. Last exercise around four. V turn combo, here we go. Nice and sharp now. This is where we need you the most here. We're nearly there, come on. The more you can exaggerate the movement of the ball, the better. Stay on the front of your feet. And rest. That's round four done, isn't it? Round four done. 30 second rest done now. We're going into our last round. I hope you're still with me. I hope you're still with me there. Tough one, heart rate through the roof here, but only one more round left. We've got L-shaped runs. So we're gonna set up our L in here with our markers. Okay, 
L shape run starting in three, two, one, let's go. Good, so accelerate out, man. Can you stop, decelerate, boom, then you're into that jockey motion in it. And rest. Scissor push combo. Okay, scissor push combo, let's go. Nice and sharp, nearly there now, come on. I know it's tough, work through it. Time. Okay, set yourself up right away. Seven seconds. Last little bit, this is our last SAQ. Circuit one, finished. Let's go. Okay, last ball mastery, round five, nearly there. I hope you're still with me. Let's go, scissor push combo to finish. Really sell that move if you can. Make a mistake, get right on it. Time. I went over there. Okay. Okay. So that's our workout or that's the circuit finished. All ten exercises. Uh, right now you should you should be struggling there to catch your breath. If you were working at full capacity, that's what we need you at. We need you at full capacity. All the the really important games on the foot or moments on the football pitch happen at the highest intensity, so we need to operate at that level. Let us know how you got on with that workout. That's one circuit of it. Take a one minute break. See if you can do circuit number two. If you can go straight into it. So all 10 exercises again. So that would be two circuits, which is uh, really tough. And then the, the elite level would be if you could rest again and go into a third circuit. Uh, let us know how you get on with that. Let me know if you make it to three circuits uh, and 10 exercises three times. Um, let me know how you get on. Send us pictures, send us videos of you doing it so we can hold you accountable. Keep your eye on our YouTube channel, our Instagram page. We're doing live sessions. We're doing more online workouts, trying to bring you guys uh, some more value here. Uh, so yeah, let me know how you get on. Maneuver through the astral plane. We cause damage, the groove, move the masses, make you get down.